previously on Spinelli Speaks. Because today is cookie day! I'm so excited. Hi everyone, Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. It is almost 2022 and it is time to look at a few goals that I had set for myself in 2021 and then make a few goals for 2022 because really what is there better in life than making goals and then breaking them? So if you're new here, <laughs> Welcome. My name is Danny. If you have been around the block, welcome back. It is so nice to see you. I am super excited going into the end of the year here. I recently finally hit 1000 subscribers. There was a moment there that I hit it and then it went way back because of YouTube's wonderful algorithm. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, but then a few more weeks and you lovingly people out there, so amazing, so supportive, got me right back up. So I want to thank you so much as that was one of my 2021 goals was to reach 1,000 subscribers and I did it with the skin of my teeth. So thank you. Praise goes out to all of you out there. Thank you so much. I so look forward to continuing that growth and building this community and talking to you all about books. So anywho, I went back <laughs> and I looked at my 2021 goals video and let's just say I had a cracking good laugh. Uh, I laughed a lot, like a lot, a lot. <laughs> I can't believe the goals that I made for myself. So let's get through those real quick. Um, I'll put that video in the cards above in case you want to check it out. There's a thinner me that you can see in the beginning of 2021. But anywho, we'll get to that in a minute. So my first uh, goal was obviously my Goodreads goal, how many books I wanted to read in 2021. And I made quite a goal because the previous year in 2020, I had read like 125 books. So I made my goal 150. And let's just say I did not make that. I am only at 110, um, which is perfectly fine. I mean, it's wonderful. If I break 100, I am happy. Um, so I'm not really feeling sad about that. I've had a couple of months of just not being able to do much of anything. I've had a lot change in my life this year. So I am quite all right with not making that 150 goal. But what's really funny about that is I also made like little caveats to that goal. Uh, let me tell you, I needed to read 75 owned books, 50 audiobooks, 25 graphic novels, 20 nonfiction, and 75 physical. Who do I think I am? <laughs> so I went through the numbers and I tallied them up and it looked like I read 32 owned books. So quite different from what I thought of. In fact, I'm pretty sure I never even thought of those numbers like past January 1st. I don't remember even making that goal. But anywho, I did read 69 physical books. So that was only six less than I had put for myself. Um, I read 28 audiobooks, which is quite low. But again, I left my position um, at my full time job at the end of June. So a lot of the audiobooks I was reading was when I was driving to and from work. So when I stopped doing that, I didn't really get into as many audiobooks as I used to. I did read 18 graphic novels, so not too far off, about seven off, and 13 nonfiction. I was only seven off there as well. So not too bad, um, but I just, when I saw that in my goals video, I was like, who do you think you are? <laughs> Um, my second goal for 2021 was to do plan with me's, which I did up until like, uh, April. <laughs> it was 
just too much. It was way too much. I definitely think I will continue that into 2022, but a completely different way. I think I got too much involved with that and really, realistically, I really only needed like one page of that plan with me um, because that one page really did help me in those couple first months. Um, so I think I might I might bring that back, but I probably won't show you in like a dedicated video. It probably will be just part of my vlogs. Um, I wanted to do more buddy reads, which I definitely did. I had so many buddy reads in 2021. It was overwhelming in a good way. I thoroughly enjoyed all of the buddy reading that I did. All of you out there that buddy read with me last year, that was super fun. So thank you very much. Um, I wanted to get more involved with read-alongs, which I did, but I also didn't. I know I did the first historathon, which was really great. I did do a lot as a part of that. Um, but other than that, I'm terrible at read-alongs. I just, I have to do something that's super easy. Like I like the mid-month book bash. I did one of those. <laughs> um, I did not participate in Dewey's at all this year. And um, I did host a read-along with Jurassic Park and Lost World. So, I mean, I do participate in some. I just... I can't do it every month. I have to like pick and choose and like just salt and pepper in a few little like, yeah, I did that as part of that read along. So it is what it is. And then as a caveat of that, I said I wanted to do a live chat every third Saturday, which I, I did do throughout most of the year until I uh, got pregnant and just really felt like crap. Uh, so I had a few months of just not really doing anything like that. And then when I switched up my programming where I'm only doing um, videos on Tuesdays and vlogs on Saturdays, it really took that live out. So I kind of did it. More reviews was my fifth goal, which I definitely did do. I mean, all of July was uh, book reviews. So I definitely did that. Then the sixth goal was to finish my series of unfortunate events vlog series. That did not happen. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> and then my seventh goal was to hit a thousand subscribers, which we already discussed. We don't have to hash that out again. Uh, and then I had a few um, personal goals and this is where it really got funny because the first one was obviously my weight loss goal and I wanted to lose like 25 pounds and I totally gained another 25 pounds in the form of a small child. So <laughs> I definitely don't think that's going to be part of my goals for 2022. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, you know, blubbering up. So we're, we're fine with that. Uh, the second goal was to budget better, which again, after January 1st, that totally went out the window. I actually quit my job. So, um, yeah, a lot happened. If you follow me, you know, I started a small business with Laura from Book Bubbler and, um, yeah, just been a crazy year. So budgeting was not in there. Um, and then the third one was to do more date nights with my husband, which I would say we probably did just as many date nights as we always do, which is about zero. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, we went out for our anniversary, which was lovely. Um, and we, we try every once in a while, but it's not like either of us are sitting here going, you never take me out. It's not like that at all. We do um, spend the time that we can together. So it is what it is. So anywho, eight minutes later, let's talk about 2022. So the goals for 2022. I do not want to overwhelm myself because let's be real. Come April, I'm going to have a small child, small infant child to care for. And I'm just not going to have to worry about any goals of mine because that's going to be my main priority. So my first goal is always my Goodreads goal. Uh, and that goal I'm really going to set super low for myself. And that's going to be 50 books for 2022. Um, if I go past that, wonderful. If I don't, that's okay too. Um, but I would like to continue reading. Audiobooks are great for that as well. Um, so I hope to at least read 50 books in 2022. I would, as my second goal, still like to continue to do buddy reads, but I'm not going to seek them out. Now, if somebody asks and I'm available, 
absolutely. I already have a few on the books um, or a few that have been like murmured uh, in there and I am going to be super happy to read but I am not going to um, seek out anyone for any buddy reads. Um, but if someone mentions it and I happen to be available, great. I will tell you all right now, March, April, May, and possibly June is not happening. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I would still like to continue to read with others because that is one of my favorite things to do and it really warms my heart to be able to talk to other people about books. Uh, my third goal is going to be to continue my current schedule. Um, I want to continue to do the Tuesday uh, sit down video with you all where I talk one on one with you and then to have the weekly vlog post on Saturday. So I'm going to try to keep to that schedule for next year as well. My fourth goal is to do um, my 22 books to read in 2022. This year I did 21 books to read in 2021. I want to do that again. 22 books to read in 2022. Stay tuned for a video because you will see all the books that I picked for this next year and how I did last year. And then my fifth goal is going to be to try to do that read along again in September and October. Um, I do believe that this year there are murmurs of us wanting to do a classic novel written by a woman. So we don't know what that is yet, but we want it to be a classic novel written by a woman and preferably not like a Bronte, an Austin, um, or someone super popular. Pretty much those two are out. Um, so if you have any ideas of a classic novel written by a woman that is long enough to go from September to October, because we usually do two months, and that's not necessarily a big deal. We could do just one month, but usually we do two. Um, let me know. And we can definitely add it to the list of possibilities. Then looks like my, where my seventh goal is a double booked co book club. So if you follow me on our double book co channel or you are on Instagram through double booked co, we started a book club for 2022. So um, that first book is Atonement. We've already voted on that. So in January, we'll be reading Atonement. But if you're at all interested in joining that, you just have to hop over to our YouTube channel, double booked co. Um, and then uh, that's where we're doing all of that. So that's a book club specifically um, for anybody who wants to read and we all vote on on books. So um, that's super fun. And then the I think I'm on number eight. I think I lost track because I mixed these up a little bit um, is that I'm actually going to be joining um, Usborn and more or Usborn and books Usborn books and more whatever. I'm not a consultant yet, so I don't have to get it right. But I am going to join as a consultant and um, we'll start selling Usborn books. So I would, what I like to do is dedicate one video per month on my channel, not on my designated day. So it'd be on a completely separate day where I talk a little bit about um, that uh, program and the books that are there because now that I will have a little one in the home I want to start building a small library for them and I really like that company I like the books that they produce and I thought that maybe you would like to see what they have as well but I don't want to take away from my regular booktube content and I don't want if you're not interested to feel like your videos are being taken by that so it'll be on a completely different day and if you're interested you can watch it and if you're not you just move along. Okay, so those are all my bookish goals. Uh, and then I usually have some personal goals. And let's be real, again, that's like my new saying today is let's be real. I'm not really making any goals for myself just because of what the upcoming year is going to look like. So I'm literally just saying to be kind to myself. So that is my number one personal goal is to be kind to myself. And my number two and my only number two goal is family first. So as a personal goal goes, be kind and family first. Yeah, so that's that's it. Those are the only goals. Those are 10 goals for 2022. 
um, and we'll see if they they happen. And I, I it's funny because I don't ever look back at these until the end of the year. Um, they're they're, they're kind of like churning around in there, but it seems as if a couple fall flat. Uh, so we'll see how I do in the coming year, but so excited. Let me know what your goals are. Are you doing anything different this year? What are your Goodread goals? Um, are you interested in joining our book club? Do you have any ideas about um, goals for yourself, personal or bookish? Um, I would love to hear in the comments, love to chat in the comments. You know, I love talking with all of you. But until next time, I hope you all are reading something great, taking care and staying safe. And as always, you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye.